So, welcome to my channel again. My name is Alliance 2 Ghosts, and I'm more than happy to see you once more in my channel. So, I know that there was like a lot of uh, conspiracy about the Dragon Age, the Veilgard, and stuff like that. But you know what? I don't care that much about it. I do not like, don't get me wrong, I do not like some things about it. I see a lot of bad news about work and stuff like that, but I wanted to concentrate on something else. I've been a fan of Dragon Age for quite a bit. I believe my first RPG uh, was uh, pretty much Dragon Age um, Origins. And when I started to, to play the game, it really touched like really deep inside of me, so I was curious to see how things will go. And uh, I've replayed Origins over and over and over and over again with different races, with different backgrounds, with different classes and so on. And I just hope that this game, because they believe that this is like the game that will bring the old times for Bioware, so to speak. So let's see if that is true. So I'm a bit further in the game, like I, I didn't uh, record the beginning because I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a video or not about it, but since I played a bit of the game and I'm actually enjoying it to some extent, I decided to make a video about it and see how it will go. So let's go. Whoa. Well, this is not <laughs> the way you just cross someone that is supposed to kill you, you know? Okay, let's see. Oh, I have to mention something, because I was thinking it just before I started making video about it, so... Bioware, EA, <laughs> please. Please, when you make a game with narrative and you're expecting the player to follow a certain path, please do not put doors on their way. I mean, yes, bring down some ruins or something like that, but please don't put doors that cannot be opened. It just ruins the whole interest, you know. So I passed like several doors uh, way back. I cannot go back to, to uh, show them, but I'm sure that we will run into certain uh, doors in the future as well. So please, when you do that in the future, just make the doors open up or at least build some kind of ruins and stuff like that. Don't close them up, walk them. <laughs> We're supposed to explore, you know. I cannot gather that. Okay. So. What you should know about me is that I'm someone that is uh, exploring every bit part I can in every game, to be honest. So when I see something like that, and it's not like the way down like this ramp, or triangle, or whatever it's called that, uh, I just go the opposite way and explore it. So yeah, just so you know, that's why my PlayStation, uh, playstations are so long, because I like exploring! <laughs> okay. And I like breaking stuff too, as you can see that. And I'm quite disappointed I don't get much wood for it, to be honest. Okay, let's see. Do we have something else going on here? What are those green stuff over there? Like, can I do something about them? I guess not, because they are way over there, I cannot just jump over there. But perhaps in the future I will find out more about them. Yeah. That's the building I tracked Solus to. Looks like the Venatori also found it. And then demons found them. Okay. Yeah, my potions are full. Oh yeah, just for those the curious, I do play the game on um, met um, on I don't know how how high easy or something like that. Let me 
check it out. Yeah, the keeper. I play most of the games for the story and for the characters, so... Okay. I've been using this all time. Till now, but yeah, sure. Thank you for introducing me to the attack. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm playing usually on easy because uh, I'm not that fast with the reactions. My action per minute is not that high. Unless I'm really well arrested, so to speak. But you see that? I'm not that fast. And that is why I play on easy. I like some challenge in my games, but I do not like do too much of it, so to speak. So I'm just yeah enjoying. As you can see, the path is there, and I'm just taking the opposite way <laughs> because I'm so curious. I don't care about us right now. I care about exploration, so shut up! Hardy, or whatever your name is. Huh, okay. So my HP was down a bit. Okay, I cannot access that right now. There's like those cranes and I'm not sure if I can use them for something or not. Okay, so I can climb them. Somewhat. Oh yeah, the other thing that made quite a big uh, an impression to me was the controls. Like, why would you put the swipe on space and then the jump on F. Why would you do that? Answer me please, Bioware, EA. <laughs> it's so, like, uh, uh, not instinctive to you, uh, like, to me at least. When I look for a, a jump, I look it for a space. And on space I have, like, swipes. On shift I have, like, skipping stuff, I believe. But I have to be in combat. Uh, but yeah, it's like teleporting, uh, teleporting around and free, free run, yeah. So this is the Dread yep. Wolf's hideout. Shift and free run. One of them yep, there we go. Not sure but why would here. you put the jump on F? Why not make it so like if you click fast on the space, itself. you jump. If you hold down the space, you swipe. I mean, that is instinctive to me as a player who does a lot of uh, RPG plays with other games. Other games do that. Broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said I... the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. Honestly, I don't remember much about Solus, except that he betrayed us in the end of uh, Inquisition. And I kind of like him before that. He was always this uh, sway type character who was hermastic. Uh, hermastic? Yeah, hermastic. But at the same no time. No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. Uh, but also, like, you uh, know. He had an interesting history, and I believe that he would at Ancient Magic which I was a huge fan of uh, because I love magic and I love the ancient one especially. Ancient elves doing something to a dragon, I think. Yeah, trying to control it maybe? Sola said the other elven gods were evil. If they were binding dragons, he was right about that much at least. Yeah, literally binding, enslaving and so on. Anyway, uh, he was really quite, quite powerful ancient magic and I'm all about power and all about ancient magic. This is probably my darkest path that I can follow, you know. So I liked him, but he was 
a surprise protagonist uh, in the end of the series. I just can use the orb and dagger combination use to attack with orb and shift plus. <sighs> Sorry, uh, left my house, but I haven't slept quite. It's quite late for me, basically, and uh, I'm going to bed quite soon, so if I do yawn, I do apologize. Orb attacks are much quicker than staff attacks, but shorter range. Each hit with the orb of poison and arcane mark to the target on the third, it becomes an arcane bomb. Okay. I'm not that big, uh, that huge fan of the combat so far. Using shift uh, attack will make the arcane bomb explode, doing a large amount of bonus damage. Also, oh, you break too much stock. Okay. Well, this wasn't what I was trying to do, but okay, I guess. Oh, let's continue. Locked. There must be a way to open it. Let's look around. Air is full of magic. Solus used a lot of power for something. Solus, the Dreadwolf, Venharel. He's got a lot of names. I always called him Chuckles. Chuckles. <laughs> okay, okay. Weird, but okay. Nice work. Let's see what's on the other side. There is no fall, fall damage, it seems. At least not yet. Or it wasn't that high. Oh yes, please give me more wood. I want more! This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook. It's yes. an alluvian. They're elven and very old. It acts like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. He must have gone. All right. It. He used the same thing back in Inquisition when he just crossed through some kind of glowing wall, a mirror. So this thing seems quite like uh, the same thing. So I guess he used those. As gateways. <sighs> well, we're not in Manrathas anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, he's a god. I would expect at least that much power. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. Those demons look like quite different from the ones we had in Inquisition, though. Ooh. I thought the demons were bad back in Minrathus. The fades a mess this close to the ritual. No telling what could come through. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of the combat so far. Pretty much it reminds me of Dragon Age 2 combat. And I definitely didn't like it that much, like, I'm playing mage so I can use, you know, mage skills and stuff like that, not to you attack with just the stuff. Keep moving and try not to think about it. I mean, that is like the power fantasy for many players who play mage. They play the mage for the power. 
and for the spells, for the powerful spells that would, you know, level a call down or a call ground. And this is not the feeling I'm getting here with uh, with this combat, regretfully. Hopefully it will get better and my spells won't be that limited. But I highly doubt about it. Yeah, more wood, please. Man, that looks beautiful. I'm already doing that, using my abilities, shortcuts. That definitely hurt. <laughs> uh, I feel bad about them, you know. Come on, give me more wood. What is the wood? Why, seriously, what is the wood? Wow. He's shooting me with a laser or something. <laughs> oh. like a boss, a mini boss or boss, defensive boss. Whoa, it's big. <laughs> okay, whoa. Whoa, go down, big boy. Oh, don't say about it. Ooh. Oh, shit. It got me. Yeah, those demons look so much different than the ones we faced in the Inquisition. Keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus I agree. needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. What? That is absolute bullshit. This is a mistake. <laughs> come on, Varric. We didn't come all this way just to talk to him. He was my friend, Rook. 
I gotta try to reach him. But if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. Ah, the blindest friendship. More demons. Uh, I feel like this is going Rook, to end badly. Take care of the team for me. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are definitely are. <laughs> Star Wars looks uh, exactly the same as Inquisition, even better with the better graphics. Let's buy him some time. He doesn't exactly need time though. Whoa. I thought there for a moment that he was attacking me, but it was my companion. Was her name Eva? Yeah, I think so, the mage. That she was cast like ice balls or something like that. The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed by drowning the world in demons. I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize them. People are dying right now. Yes, you they are. To listen. But I disagree. I think that Please. someone's doing the right thing here. Ooh, that seems scary. <laughs> are always dying. I agree with that. They do. People are always dying. There's like no doubt about it. Shit. I need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? What work? He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. Will we survive it? The demons. Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got I like idea? storms. Fine. But you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go with... Yeah, Nevo. <laughs> Let's go then. Harding, keep the demons busy. Good luck. Let's see how things will go. But yeah, to come back on the what Saul was said. I do believe that Sawas is doing some uh, is killing people right now, that is true, but how many people he's going to save in the meantime, yeah there will be huge damage, but how many people he was going to save? Like you always have this dilemma with Sawas and this like what I liked about him from the beginning I've seen him from the beginning when we started like going on missions with him and he was mostly agreeing with me because I was thinking the same way as him so yeah I liked that. This is it we need to bring down the scaffolding. That thing that thing would take down this whole thing really? How? Okay. Why? Yeah, I Why thought so. Down the veil, knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but it isn't falling. We need to push it. Right. Together. Now. You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. Push! Uh, I don't know about that, Sawas. Whoa, this actually brought the statue down. What? 
the physics though, they make no sense. Yeah, I would expect that not from Thoas. Considering how powerful he is. But this storm is going though. Ooh, that hurt. Even me. Varik, poor Varik. Oh shit. Varik. Varik. Oh no, no, no. Nev. What is happening? What are those two things? Holy shit. Hey, someone has to help Varek, come on. The guy is like wounded. Okay, need to help him. Can she though? I don't think that she has the strength for it. Ooh. Oh, ooh, that good. It's so realistic. Are we okay? <laughs> Are we still breathing? <laughs> well, welcome guys to the Dragon Age, the Bell Guard. That was the intro, I guess. You have no idea what you have done. Wait, what? Where are we? Soulless. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. Did you? I was not destroying the world. Yeah, I don't so too. <laughs> When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay. okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Exactly. Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. What? Blood Seriously? Magic. Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. Yeah, I don't like that, Thomas. <laughs> Do not control me, please. Hmm. So we can go more aggressive. We can be a tough type of guy. And we just can be like a cheery type of guy. Hmm. I don't think that this is a trick, so... I will go with that. All right, you brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? Exactly. The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped, and the blighted elven gods walk free. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that he was the one to let them out. It was us by interrupting the ritual, so that is like a complete unnecessary answer. They should go with something else down here. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> why would I believe you? Uh, no, that is too good. Why? Why can't I understand it? But I definitely, by my personality, will go for that one. Sure, you're the hero. Right, you were innocently doing nothing when we came along. The prison <laughs> in which I had trapped them had begun to crumble. 
I was moving them to another. So you weren't tearing down the veil and drowning the world in demons and wild magic. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? Oh, they said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. Okay, now I'm worried. <laughs> why would it why would you do that? Maybe if you play like uh, the bad or where you do not believe at all. So was yeah, that is exactly what I thought. How bad are we talking here? Their power outstripped my own even before they embraced the corruption of the Blight. But you did imprison them. Through trickery. I also had a ritual dagger of pure Lyrian, and a network of mirrors to take me from the lighthouse across the world. I don't have either of those. Well then, I expect you will be busy. Elganan Sounds so. are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Well, shit. <laughs> We're fighting gods, Why? it seems. You need to listen. No. No! no idea what you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric? Not me. <laughs> You're okay. But I saw Solus stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. Okay. Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. What exactly happened? What happened? Remember how you said that Chuckles wasn't going to listen, Rook? Oh, turns out you were right. The plan did go a little wrong. Yeah. Harding got everyone out. By the skin of her teeth, mostly. Before you start worrying, Nev will be fine. She's apparently a lot tougher than both of us put together. Or, at least, she's a lot tougher than me. Why the crying eye? Is that like uh, a reference to sadness? Or apology? Because it sounds like a reference to sadness. But I need you. I don't really need you though. Yeah, it's worse than you think. Varric, when we stopped the ritual, something else got out. Something even Solus is afraid of. You've got this, Rook. World's not flooded with demons right now. Because you stopped Solus, not me. Varric, even so, I need you to... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like that time you ditched your orders for a better strategy during a darkspawn attack. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook, look who's awake. I've been searching the place for Lyrian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. <clears throat> Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into... something. And it's in the Fade. Because that's what we needed. The dream world. Then I really need to look around. <sighs> Can't hurt. In theory. And we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. Okay. See you later, kid. Will you see me later, though? Oh, an achievement. 
Shadows of Ancient Apota Bonus items. You use the war drop to claim your rewards. Your account has been granted bonus items, new appearances for you and your companions. At the war drop, some rewards require further story progress to become available. Okay. What do we have here? Remedy of Secret of Away. Step of Stop. Fallen Buddha. Okay. Oh, there is more! Spell blades, Helen and Boots, Cartel Falls Face, Gewara Helm, Gewara Norm, okay. So, I think I will stop here for now. It's like 35 minutes in, and I know that you missed the beginning, uh, but it wasn't that long, and I usually take quite a bit of character making, so... Uh, I will stop here, and then... Uh, I will continue. I do not guarantee that I will make a video clip for every step, part by part by part, but I will try to capture most of it. I was uh, I was enjoying the game so far, and even though there is a lot of controversy about it, I do think that the game has potential. Uh, I'm not a fan of the combat system, sorry, yay, but you should have let the mages do magic like do not like bound us to the stuff that was like a huge a huge 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 feedback back on Dragon Age 2 and you like uh, moved back on that when the Inquisition came out but now you're coming back to it why why would you do that like we don't need that like if we're a mage we love casting spells, we love destroying the whole field, and we love baiting in power. <laughs> Basically, that is who a mage is. Someone who is hungry for power, someone who wants to have more power, and someone who considers the balance to some extent, and someone who likes to blast the whole place up. <laughs> that is who a mage is. So, uh, I would prefer to be able to cast spells over and over again and that mana regeneration that I'm seeing, I do not like it. It's like very limiting, I do not enjoy being limited usually, <laughs> but we shall see in the future how the magic will go, but for now I'm not a big fan of the combat system, at least for the mages. I am 100% certain that this is like a really go good combat system for warriors and rogues, but not that much for mage. Like, mage is a whole different, you know, house. He doesn't use that much, uh, that much his stuff. He just uh, chants or, uh, like, controls the magic with the help of the stab, but it's not like the main weapon the mages use. Uh, I mean, Okay, it's the main weapon, but it's not like he used like a blaster or something or a shooter or like something like that. It's just not what a mage is, basically. Uh, and I would have expected a bit more. And yeah, I'm enjoying the game so far. I believe that the story has potential. We shall see further in. And yeah, thank you very much for joining. Like, subscribe, comment. And let's see how far this journey will take us. Thank you. And have a nice like, day, weekend or night. Whatever time it is for you. Bye bye.